I didn't say you were lying, Johnny. Only the truth often looks different depending on our point of view. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Ah, an excellent breakfast, hey boy. My compliments to the chef. Oh, you saw it. Thank you very much. He's shown great improvement. The coffee is both black and hot. The eggs, perfect. Oh, not the same chef improving, Mr. Paladin. New chef. Oh, who? Hey, boy. You. You saw Mr. Paladin say, only way to get things done right is do them yourself. Uh, hey, boy, take advice. Do breakfast himself. And with splendid results. Thank you, hey, boy. My compliments to you. Now, if you'll clear these dishes away, I have some letters to answer, hey, boy. And I, and I want to be left alone. Oh, he saw Mr. Paladin. Uh, Alone, hey, hey boy. Alone and in peace and quiet. Oh, oh, oh yes, sir. I go. I live peace and quiet. Hey, oh, somebody at the door. Well, whoever it is, get rid of them, will you? Yes, please? sir. I want to talk to Mr. Paladin. Oh, Mr. Paladin say he not in. I got to talk to him. It's important. So sorry, Mr. Paladin, very busy. Listen, tell him Nellie Watson's boy wants to Nelly see Nellie Watson? Hey, boy. Yes, sir. Let him in. But uh, you say... I know what I said. Now I say let him in. Oh, most confusing. Uh, please to enter. Thank you. Are you Mr. Paladin? That's right. I'm Johnny, Nellie Watson's boy. Well, yes. Yes, I can see the resemblance. That's what Mother said to say. How is your mother? She's dead, Mr. Paladin. Oh, I'm sorry. She always told me, Johnny... If you're ever in trouble, if you ever need anything, you go find Mr. Paladin. So here I am. Constipation is something people don't talk about much, but it can be a problem for anyone, even doctors. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Well, a majority of the doctors we heard from had this to say. A laxative should be effective, gentle, close to natural acting. A medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Now, Exlax has been popular with many doctors and millions of people over the years because pleasant-tasting chocolated Exlax is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. Exlax is so gentle, so close to natural acting, there's no upset. That's why many doctors and millions of people use Exlax with complete confidence. Exlax, the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity gently overnight. Eighteen years had not marred my memory of Nellie Watson, one of those rare individuals you never forget. We had been close friends in Illinois during the years before the war. It was difficult to believe that she was dead, and now this was her son sitting in my room, no longer a child, not yet a man, awkward, uncertain. And no matter what I do, I, I don't seem to be able to please him, Mr. Paladin. Well, stepfathers are like that sometimes, Johnny... Man, fathers, too, I suppose. It wasn't so bad while Mother was alive, but after she died... When did she die? A couple of months ago. What was the matter with her? The doctor said consumption. But I think it was a broken heart, Mr. Paladin. Broken heart? Yeah, from trying to please him. She tried and tried, but she couldn't. She died, and then I decided to run away. Johnny, you, you never solve a problem by running. 
Are you saying I should go back? He's your legal guardian until you're of age. I don't care. I won't do it. I don't have to. No, Johnny, you can keep on running if you want to. Lots of people do keep on running all their lives. Then you won't help me, I didn't say that, no. But the only way I can really help you is to take you back to your stepfather where you belong. Take me back? You'll come with me? If you want me to. All right. Then you'll see for yourself. You'll see I'm not lying. Why, I don't think you are, Johnny. Only the... The truth often looks different depending on our point of view. Let's go see what your stepfather's point of view is. The ranch house is just over the next rise, Mr. Paladin. A nice spread. Your dad homestead all of this? Yes. Mother had a hard time making it run after he died until George came. George? My stepfather. Uh. Mother took him on as foreman. And before he was here a year, he made her marry him. Made her? Well, I can't see why she'd want to. He must have forced her. Oh, there's the ranch house down there. Corral's over to the left. Wait a minute. Seems to be some trouble over there. Yeah, that's George. What's he doing, beating that horse? Yeah, he threatened to get even with him. Get even? Why? Well, that horse threw him a while back. It broke his arm. Oh, but the horse doesn't know why it's being beaten. I know. That's the way George Come is. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Good. Tempered, four-legged son Just of a... a minute, mister. Huh? What are you... Well, if it isn't a prodigal son, come home. What brought you back? I didn't want to come back. He made me. Oh? Who are you? This here is Mr. Paladin. He was a friend of mother's. Ah, I dare say. Long time ago. Must have been. Don't ever remember hearing her speak of you. Hey, aren't you afraid you'll turn that horse into a killer? You already tried to kill me. I'm gentling them. With a bullwhip? Now, look here, Paladin, or whatever your name is. This is my property, and it don't pleasure me none to have my actions questioned. To make myself plain? Yes, quite plain. Well, now that we understand each other, I suppose I should thank you for bringing the boy back. But I didn't ask you to. Well, this is his home. He belongs here. Yeah. Well, now that you're here, I might as well put you up for the night. Too far to ride into town. I wouldn't want to put you in any trouble. No trouble for me. The boy does the cooking. Help yourself to some more, Mr. Paladin. Oh, no, thanks, Johnny. That was an excellent dinner. His mother taught him how to cook. Pity he wasn't a girl. Make a good wife for somebody. All right, George, cut it out. I'll raise your voice to me, young man. Well, stop picking on me. You do your own cooking. You little whip. Oh! oh. Now you go to your room. Don't let me hear a word out of you for the rest of the evening. You see what I mean, Mr. Paladin? You see what I mean? Are you going? Do I have to take the razor strap to you? I'll get even with you someday, George. I'll get even with Shut you. Shut up and get out. How am I going to make a man out of him? He's just starting. Give him time. Time? Time to listen to his complaints and his back talk? Well, maybe you don't understand him. He's still a boy. Guess I do as well as the next man. What's your interest in him? His mother was my friend, remember? Yeah. Paladin. Ain't I heard of you? Maybe. Yeah, I know. You're a gun, ain't you? A hired gun. You could say that. Well, I don't know, and I'm so glad you brought him back. It was kind of peaceful while he was gone. Maybe he would be better off somewhere else. Yeah. Look, Paladin, I'm not making any secret of the fact that I don't like him. I never did. Nevertheless, you are responsible for him. Not the way I look at it. Got too big for his britches and walked off the property. Let him stay off. But this is his ranch, isn't it, legally? Now, Paladin, what's legal? 
I work this place, I keep it up. I was his mother's husband. Once she died, this place became mine, as far as I'm concerned. There's no question about that. Yeah, well, the law might have a different point of view. You're a smart man, Paladin, but not smart enough to realize that I'm the law when it comes to this ranch. And I don't appreciate somebody like you coming around sticking his nose into my affairs. What are you getting out of this, anyway? Nothing. Nothing more than the satisfaction that Nellie Watson's boy is getting a fair deal. Look, Paladin, you're a businessman. You work for a price, don't you? It all depends. Let me hire you. What for? Take that kid off my hands for good. I'd be willing to pay whatever you thought was fair. It's getting late. I'm going to turn in. on that offer I made you last night? I slept on it. Gonna accept it? Where's the kid? Down at the corral, I reckon. It was up before me. There's some scrambled eggs in the skillet. Help yourself. Thanks. I asked you if you are gonna accept my offer. I can't understand why you don't want him around, George. He's a big help to you. There's a nice home for him. All you have to do is make up your mind to be nice to the kid. It'll be good for both of you. I've tried to be good to him. Don't work. I've given up. Morning, Paladin. Morning, Johnny. That horse has got a real bad cut on his withers, George. Don't come crying to me about it. Well, you did it. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. We saw you take a whip to him. You shut up or I'll take a whip to you. Don't try it, George. Why, you... Stand back, you hear? You come one step further and I'll run this bread knife through your ribs. All right, Johnny, drop it. Well, he's got no call. I with said, me. drop it. Now sit down, eat your breakfast. Come with me. You too, George. Yeah. It's pretty brave with a knife in your hand. But don't think I can't still whip you the way I used to. The day will come the when you The day will never come when I can't whip you because you're yellow clean through. Sit down. Sit down, Johnny. Eat your breakfast. Well, Johnny, I guess you weren't exaggerating. I guess there's no pleasing him. Well, I told you, didn't I? The kid's big enough. Let him go out and make his own way in the world. George doesn't want you here, Johnny. That's clear. And it's just as clear that I don't want to be here. Well, then, I guess there's no point insisting that you stay. You mean it? Well, if you did, one or the other of you would probably be dead the way you're at each other's throats. Well, I guess that means you'll be going back to San Francisco with Mr. Paladin, huh, kid? If he don't mind taking me. Not at all, Johnny. How soon you figure to get started, Paladin? Well, there's no reason why we can't pull out this morning. Now, now we got everything settled, I gotta be going. Uh, where are you going? I got some business in town. Be away most of the day. Reckon you'll be gone by the time I get back. Probably. Good. Uh, about that offer, Paladin, you'll be hearing from me. So long, kid. Good luck. Yeah. Well, Mr. Paladin, that's that. Let's go. No. No, Johnny, that's not quite that. What do you mean? That's exactly what your stepfather wants us to do. He's too eager to get us off the place. He's too eager to get rid of you. He even offered to pay me to take you off his hands. He did? Why? I don't know, Johnny, but I think we better find out. How? Wait. Wait? Yeah. Wait for him to show his hand. All right. Whatever you say. So I might as well finish cleaning up the breakfast dishes. <laughs> You're a funny kid, Johnny. Funny? How? Well, you don't find many ranch kids who care whether the dishes are done or not. Well, there's nothing wrong with it, is oh, it? Oh, no, no, of course not. Here, I'll help you. Well, you don't have to do that. It makes it go faster. But there used to be some soap in a can on this shelf. I wonder if it's... Rocks. 
Now, what's he keeping rocks in a can Let over the Let me see one of those. Yeah, they aren't exactly rocks, Johnny. Hey, there's a letter in here with them. Let me see it. Our independent assay verifies your figure of $500 to the ton. Our representative will meet you on the morning of the 24th... That's today... To close the deal. $500 a ton on this land? Yeah. Come on, Johnny. Where? We're going to leave. Or appear to. I don't imagine George will feel free to show the property until he's sure we've left the premises. So that's just what we'll do. Your rug looks like new. Shampooed it myself right on the floor. And you said impossible. That's when I was all tired out with nagging backache. And muscular aches and pains. And am I glad I took your tip about that. You said try Doan's pills. Good advice. That's Doan's pills, an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains, may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's pills today to save money by Doan's big economy size. We saddle our horses out in the open so that anyone who might be watching could not help notice our leave-taking. Once out of sight of the ranch, we doubled back through the woods and left the horses tied in some underbrush. We had no difficulty making our way unseen back to the barn where we spent the hot and dusty afternoon waiting. Finally, George and another man pulled up at the corral. Who's that man with him, Mr. Ballander? Just keep your voice down. Well, there she is, Mr. Roberts. She's all yours. Lock, stock, and barrel. Bought and paid for. You'll find some grub in the kitchen, blankets on the beds. Enough for you until your outfit moves in. All right. Come on, Johnny. Hey, uh, you going on tonight? Yes, sir. Ain't aiming to spend another night in that place. You got your land, I've got my money. I'm heading for the lowlands to spend it. I wouldn't be too sure about that, George. Paladin, I thought you... Yeah, I know what you thought. Mr. Roberts, are you in the habit of buying property under false pretenses? Now, uh, what are you inferring? That it doesn't belong to this gentleman. But, well, what is the meaning of this? Look, Mr. Roberts, I'm sure it can all be explained. I don't think so, George, so just give Mr. Roberts back his money. Won't somebody explain this to me? Gladly. George has attempted to dispose of the property of a minor without the minor's consent or knowledge. But I don't understand... This young man, Mr. Roberts... This young man is the rightful owner of this property, and I'm sure that he'll be willing to make a satisfactory leasing arrangement with you, but as to an outright sale of this property, I would advise against it. All right, Paladin, hold it. All of you, stay put. I've got his money in my saddlebag, and I don't aim to give it back. Mr. Paladin, the horse in the corral. Me. I'm going out of here, a rich man. I don't much care if I have to kill all of you on the way. Look out, George, that horse is coming for you. What? You black son of Satan! <laughs> Mr. Paladin, he shot the horse. All right, George, drop your gun. No, you don't. George. Is is he dead? Yeah. And the horse is too. Mr. Roberts. Uh, yes. As I said before, this young man is the rightful owner of this property. There should be no question about that now. Eh? 
Yes, come in. Well, well, Miss Wong. Oh, Miss Wong. Wong, how are you this morning? Oh, very good. Hey, boy, tell me, you come back last night. That's but... right. Uh, where's your new son? My, my son. Hey, son, your son. Hey, boy, say, you family man now. Hmm. He say, you have big, grown-up son. Oh, oh. <laughs> you mean Johnny. Hey. How you do that? All of a sudden have grow up child? Well, uh, it's, uh, it, it's a part of the inscrutable accident, Miss Wong. The inscrutable accident. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Uh, will you be leaving hotel now? Uh, set up housekeeping? No, no, I think not. Uh, oh. Johnny will be in the east at school most of the time. He won't need a father. No, Miss Wong, I have no intention of becoming respectable. Oops, careful, Lucy. Chicken's got to be just the right distance from the charcoal. Yeah, that's got it. Everybody looks good and hungry, don't they? Hand me that French's Worcestershire, Lucy. Yeah, folks still pestering to get the secret of my barbecue sauce. Gotta admit, never tasted any better. Between you and me, Lucy, the credit's as much French's as mine. There's a combination of 15 spices and other ingredients in French's Worcestershire. All the right things to bring out the flavor in hot or sweet barbecue sauce. French's Worcestershire really sparks it up. Or two, it's made by the French's mustard people. Yeah, all ready now? Mm, boy. Folks, here's a special recipe offer. Get 12 delicious new barbecue sauce recipes. Just write barbecue book, box 56. That's box 56, Rochester, New York. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hayboy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by William N. Robeson. Featured in the cast were Ken Lynch and Sam Edwards. And now, here's our star, John Daner. We of the cast and the production staff of Have Gun Will Travel send our sincere congratulations to the management and staff of KNX Radio, the CBS radio station in Los Angeles, which this week celebrates its 40th anniversary. And we're mighty happy KNX is one of the CBS radio stations that carries our program every Sunday. Congratulations and best wishes. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel.